Trevor doing a lower body workout using only one dumbbell. We'll be working the entirety of our lower body, including our quads, our hamstrings, and our glutes. When you're ready, grab your dumbbell, make some space, and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started with a quick warm up, and then we'll get into the workout. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is a dynamic hamstring stretch. So remember to hinge at your hips, and then come down, and then switch. Right? So when I say hinge at your hips, what I mean is to keep your back straight and don't round it like this, right? So back straight, stretch the back, back side of your leg, which is the hamstring, and then come back. Good. From here, we're gonna get into a side bend, right? So I don't know about you, but I have some previous past experiences of getting injured in my lower back when training my lower body, especially at the gym. So I found that warming up properly, especially the lower back, helps me prevent getting injured. So that's why I like to do some lower back exercises for the warm up. So from here, we're gonna go into a forward fold. You wanna relax your lower body, like relax your lower back, and then you can go to the side, and then come to the other side, All right? Come back. Okay, very good. Come up. Here, you wanna step out wide, point your toes outwards, and then come down into a low squat hold. And then if you want, you can lean a little bit to the left, and then lean to the other side, right? And then lean back and forth, perfect. Okay, let's come up, stay wide, and then from here, you're gonna go to the side, and then the other side. Lunges, right? And if you want, you can incorporate the arm, come up, come up, yes, like that. Perfect. Okay. Nicely done. That's the warm up. Let's get into the exercises. Let's get into the workout. So, you want to grab your dumbbell and we're going to get into some normal squats. So, grab it like this between your hands and then come down into a squat. All right? Standard exercise doing it because it's work it works Bam. like that so for this workout you want to be opting to go for a heavy dumbbell if you have it at home if you don't have a heavy dumbbell then grabbing two and placing them like this on your shoulders works just as well right good Right. So from here, I'm gonna stay doing squats, but this time we're gonna go into a sumo squat. So step out wide again. Point the toes toes outwards. You're gonna come down, grab the dumbbell, and then squeeze up. And we're gonna do some pulses. Right here, right? Boom, boom. Targeting the back side of the legs a little bit more with this exercise. Boom, I can already feel the burn. Good. Keep pushing.
two, one, rest. Okay, put down the dumbbell. We're gonna give the leg, legs a little bit of a rest. So we're gonna go down into the mat and hit those abs. So from here, I want you to lean back, touch the mat, come back, touch the mat. So try to stay in a position where you're engaging the abs, right? This is kind of like a Russian twist that you've probably done before, but I prefer to do it this way, slowly and controlled and engaging the abs the whole time. Good. One more. Perfect. Okay. So back up and we're gonna do that, those three exercises one more time. So back to the squat. So grab the dumbbell, place it between your hands, and then we come down and up, down and up, right? Keep your chest up high and try to come down where your knees are at the 90 degree angle, if you can. Perfect. Keep going. Remember to breathe. So breathe on the way down and exhale on the way up. Boom. Very good. Place the dumbbell between your legs. Take some rest. Catch a breath. And then we're going to into the sumo squats. <clears throat> Step wide, toes, toes pointing outwards, and here we go. Bam. And as you do this workout more than once, if you're doing the 90 day challenge, for sure this exercise, this workout is gonna show up a few times in the challenge. And what I want you to do is to try to increase the weights. Every time you're coming back to this workout, you wanna be doing heavier and heavier weights, right? It's called progressive overload. That's how we're gonna get stronger. That's how we're gonna grow our muscle. So put down the dumbbell, back down on the mat. Let's go for some abs. Yes. Yes, sir. Here we go. Two, one, lean back, engage the core. Bam. going a few more seconds one and rest awesome okay so we're gonna move on to a set of new exercises grab the dumbbell and we're gonna go into a reverse lunge right so what I want you to do is right leg comes forward dumbbell on the left hand Step out wide, and then you're gonna keep the dumbbell between your legs, come down, and then press up. And as you press up, you want to slightly go forwards, right, so you're pushing yourself forwards. Bam, and squeezing that quad, and feel the burn in the glute. 
right? So down and then upwards, upwards and to the front. Bam. Perfect. Put on the dumbbell and then we're gonna switch it to the other side. And I find it that looking down at my toe helps me keep the balance. And also try to step wide. You don't wanna step with the foot straight after or behind the other foot. That's gonna make it harder to find the balance. So step out, come down and up. Good. Breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up. Come on, 10 more seconds. Nice. Woo. I felt that one in the glutes. So, same thing. We're gonna give the legs a little bit of a rest and come down on the mat to some short bicycles. Right? So, you're gonna do like a bicycle kick, but without the kick. So, you're kind of like just coming up with the knees. You don't need to straighten out the legs. Good. Keep going. Bam. Ooh. All right. Back up and let's go for the lunges again. So, dumbbell on the left hand, right leg comes forward, and here we go. Boom. And again, if you want to make this exercise harder, what you would do is grab another dumbbell on the right hand and you would go or you would increase the weight of the one you're holding. Come on. Un poquito más. Muy bien. Switching the legs. So if you guys didn't know, I'm actually half Spanish. So I'm gonna start incorporating a little bit of Spanish in the workouts. Bam. And up. That way, you'll not only exercise, but you'll learn some Spanish as well. Huh? What do you think about that? Come on. Let's go. Boom. Five, four, three, two, one. Bam, good. Down on the mat, let's go. Short bicycles. Okay.
keep going don't stop five more seconds boom perfect Woo. it's gonna be a 30 second break here and then we're actually gonna go back into the mat and we're gonna get into some glute bridges okay so the glute bridge you can put the dumbbell on your hips and then from here squeeze up squeeze up and try to focus on squeezing with your glutes and not your lower back right So this one, ah, it's gonna be a little bit longer. Because I started too early. Oh, sorry, Alina. My bad. Keep going. 15 more seconds. Bump, bump. Perfect. Hi. Working on removing that flat butt. Huh? We don't, want, we don't want people telling us that we have a flat butt. Okay. Let's go. Now we're gonna do the glute bridge. But we're gonna come up, hold, squeeze the glutes, hold for a few seconds. I'll tell you when to drop and drop. Good. Three, two, one. Come up and hold. All right, again, squeeze with your glutes, not with your lower back. And drop. Three, two, one. Up. Squeeze. Very good. Hold it. Hold it. Mm, keep holding. Come on. Four three two one and drop yes very good Ooh. okay put the dumbbell actually you can grab the dumbbell and we're gonna do some straight leg crunches so keep the leg straight dumbbell overhead and come up Come up and lower slowly. Engage the abs as you come down. One more. Yes. Perfect. Woo! Man, if you're not feeling that one, then I don't know. I can tell you, I'm sweating. Okay, back to the glute bridge. Put the dumbbell on your hips and come up. Up. And when you're doing the glute bridge, you want to try to put your heels straight under your knee, right? So you see how they're kind of in a 90 degree angle. As I squeeze up, it's going to make it so that you feel it in the glutes more than anything. Up and squeeze. One more. Perfect. Okay, you can stay 
in this position because we're gonna go back to the hold again. Breathe. Okay, put the dumbbell, squeeze up, focus on the glutes, hold, 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 three, two, one, drop, okay, and let's go back up again, and hold. Keep holding. Three, two, one, and drop. And back up. Okay, last 10 seconds. Hold it. Perfect. Back to the straight leg crunches. Okay, let's get ready. Leg straight, dumbbell overhead, and then we come up. Pushing. Oh. One more. Yes. Awesome. Okay. We're gonna sit inside the dumbbell. We're actually done with that one for this workout. You're going to get into the tabletop position, just like this. And you're gonna kick out with the leg and then to the side. Back up and then squeeze in. Kick out to the side, up, in, out, side, up, in, right? Just like that. And when you're doing this, I want you to engage your core, right? You don't want to be feeling this in your lower back, this is for the glute. And the way that you do that is by not going too high with the leg and by engaging your core, right? Very good. So engage the core and don't go too high with the leg when you kick out. We're gonna do the other leg now. Three, two, one, kick out, side, up, in, out, side, up, in, out, side, up, in. Perfect. Just like that. You got it. Yes. Two more. Nice. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into the bear hold knees. So basically, you're gonna get up into the bear, bear plank position. And from here, you squeeze in like this with the knee. We're working our abs, bam. Bad, sweat is dripping. Keep pushing. We almost, almost at the end. Almost at the end. And you know what? We never give up. 
Never give up. You can pause the video if you need, but we never give up. Ah, yes. Okay, back to the straight leg kicks. One, out, side, up, in. Engage the core. You want to be feeling this in your glutes. Wow. Perfect. Let's go. The other leg. One. Out. Side. Up. In. Up. In. Okay, nice. You know what? Will be the last exercise. The we'll workout, and then we're gonna get into a short cool down. Okay, let's go into the plank position. Bear plank, up and squeeze in. Yes. Oh. Ten more seconds. Okay. Boy. Woo. Nice. Let's catch our breath a little bit. For those of you that are gonna leave me now, well done. If you wanna stay, I'm gonna do a quick cool down. Okay. Adelina Q, the chill music. Good. And now, get down into the mat. Let's move this freaking dumbbell out of the way. And we're gonna start with a few, or a little hamstring stretch, right? So put your sole of your feet into your thigh. Stretch out here. Let's go. Now it's time to relax. Breathe in, breathe out. And the exercises that I'm going over with you now, feel free to hold them as long as you want, right? I'm just giving you the instructions, but you hold them as long as you want. You can switch as long as feels good for you, right? So I actually recommend that you do the cool down, should be longer, right? What I'm showing you is quite short, you want to be holding the stretches a little bit longer. Just I know that many, many people, they drop off out of the video at this time. 
so we try to keep it short okay good let's go let go and then put your foot back and we want to go here and you want to squeeze stretch the quad and the the more you lean back from this position the tighter that stretch or the more the more you're gonna feel the stretch here right nice okay let's hold a little bit longer all right and then go and let's go over to the other side have the mic microphone it's in my pocket yes there we go perfect Okay, very good. So let go. We're gonna come up into a down dog here, and then you're gonna walk. Walk the dog, right? Feel this in the hamstrings and calves. Walk for a bit. Good. And then from here, you're gonna come up with your foot into the pigeon. I'm gonna hold this for a little bit here. Feel this in your glute. Nice. If you want, you can come down and hold. We're gonna come up and back to the down dog and then switch, come forward with the other leg, right? Just like that. Let's hold the hair for a bit. Okay, let's come up and then walk yourself up. From here, we're gonna do the last stretch. It's gonna be, again, a forward fold. And then you can go to the side, on the side. And then come up and maybe go a little bit here. And on the side. And any place where you feel tight, let's go where you wanna hold a little bit longer and stretch that part out. Okay. And that's it, guys. Well done. Oh, it's a workout. Well done in making it until the end of the video. Check that off the calendar and tap yourself on the chest for following through with today's workout. If you're new here, remember to hit subscribe. And if you like my workouts and want more structured guidance on how to lose weight and gain muscle, check out the links in the description below. That's gonna be it for this one. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another workout.